I got a ride or die Welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we have the keys to this. Now this is a car that I showed you guys many, many moons ago. I think it was around 2018, this car was actually completed and we did see uh, a few bits, you know, the body kit and various other bits way back then before it was complete. But today the car is complete. It is a couple of years on, the owner has enjoyed it but it's actually up for sale very, very soon. So I wanted to bring it to the channel before it went, before it uh, disappears into someone else's ownership. And I wanna take you guys around it. Now it is very wet outside. The car has not been cleaned. I will point that out from the start. Although it is in JW Auto Shine's lovely lit up bay, this car has not been cleaned. Baseline of this car it is an S1600 Fiesta. So it is a non-turbo 1.6 liter. Now you may be asking yourself why this isn't an ST. Why isn't it turboed? Very other things to go with basically what it looks like now because this is based on uh, you know an s1600 it means it is incredibly cheap to insure and cheap to run the best thing about that is as a young driver if you wanted to buy this thing you could insure it and maybe even put an st engine in it down the line when funds you know would let you and stuff that is the main thing here i would uh if i was to buy this which it, it would be pretty cool i would definitely put an sc engine in it but it is rocking the original s 1600 engine in this car so what we're going to do is we're going to go around and show you guys exactly what's going on here because it is sheer madness in this thing so we're actually running the maxton design wide arch kit so this thing is actually two meters wide at its widest point it is about five inches sort of here so to to gauge how wide this thing is because obviously from a video it won't really give too much uh, depth perception the mirror is here the widest part of the front bumper is pretty much in line with the mirror and as a look into how wide this thing is we've actually just bought jason's van in this is a uh, you know stock body fiesta mark 7 it, it, it's not talking about my van but look at the dip like mate it's so much wider just here is like as wide is, is that it? Oh, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. Now, you were actually one of the participants in designing and getting this thing built, weren't you? Yeah. Long time ago, 2018. Yeah. We, I was saying, you know, 2018 this was built. We haven't sort of seen it since. It's been driven, it's been daily, it's been enjoyed. Now it's back and it's actually going to go up for sale. I wanted to grab it before it went up for sale because that was sort of the finisher of the car being done. We've got AirTech vented bonnet at the front, Maxton wings yeah. to go with the whole body kit. We've got OZ wheels down there with big, thick winter tires. The thing to point out as well that we need to tell people is that the front of this car is in theory widened and framed properly to take this body kit. We put the wheels on the car. When the body kit was offered up, the wheel was disappeared into the vehicle because obviously the wheel where it is now could do with even being wider. But for road use, and so she could park it, we, we were settled where it is. Yeah. It could really do with coming out a bit more for the aesthetics, I believe, of what a rally car would look. So if you were to buy this, you could, in theory, widen it even more if you so wish to. Yeah. This isn't the final stage of this car. If you wanted to go even crazier, bigger wheels, bigger tires, you could quite easily do that because yeah. it would accommodate pretty much anything you can right. throw on this thing. Ian down the work, John, who's got the red Cosworth, a few people, um, we've got the car on the ramp and we made lower arm with rose joint. We've made it work. So they're adjustable. Oh. So that's how they've sort of accomplished the width of the front end. Cause that was one of the things that a lot of people were asking about initially is how are you going to be able to do that? You're not gonna put a, you know, a million mil spacer on the front of it to actually get it wide. Cuba Speed initially when we were coming up with the idea of building the car, they didn't really share how they did it. Yeah. There's one, 
was very track focused, whereas we need this to be road car and you can't really combine the two. Yeah. It would have been too hard, too stiff, the cap kit would have shattered, mm. it still needed to retain some sort of dampening, that's why it's got a coilover kit that was able to be stretched out and then the lower arm for a company. And actually, three years on, it drives really well. It drives perfect. So we, we, we got where we wanted to get. But that's how they've sort of gone around getting the whip from the front of this, was to create the, their own arms to actually adjust as far out pretty much as you wanted to go at the front end. On top, we have a KMS carbon fiber roof scoop it's on the top. It's not scooping anywhere. Looks cool though, doesn't it? <laughs> Again, if you want to buy this car, drill some holes in the roof. Rear end is where, where just like, Sorry. again, look how wide this thing is. <laughs> the original Ford rear quarter doesn't exist on this car anymore. It was cut here in the identical place to where M Sport themselves would have fitted their ride arch. So the steel that's remaining in the vehicle ends here. The glass is then bonded underneath the window substructure and it is bonded to the chassis of the vehicle here and then inside the wheel arches here he's made new wheel arches themselves. So it's wow. completely encased, dirt yeah. can't get to the metal structure of the car. It was fully encased and it was a work of art. I mean, to be yeah. fair, I've seen a couple of R5s up close now. One of our, our local friends has actually got an R5 rally car. We didn't have anything to copy. So this was just basing off uh, this, like, this sort of goes here, make it as it should be from factory then. If you look under here, the camera, it's a bit dirty now, but you can see, this is all solid and that was made from steel and welded in. So this is completely its own new wheel it's, arch. Its own arch, its own side of the car basically, because that's, that's what you replaced. Masses and masses of strength. That yeah. is actually- you, you, It is the on there, isn't it? Car, and it's on there. The bumper was actually too long, so the bumper had to be cut in two. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right, isn't it? <laughs> Such a long time ago, I yeah. Had Terry on speed dial to me. Like this doesn't fit. Oh, what a surprise! What am I going to do with this? Yeah. The the lining up and everything. Oh, it's been done so so well. And obviously, if you look at any rally car, you will notice that this bit is in fact actually there. And the the rear bumper is weirdly smaller, but wider because it's smaller as a bumper but wider as an arch part so it's still a ford diffuser from my van yeah whether it be an st a zeta cast base model lx will still fit in this cap right the reflectors still fit in this cap so what m sport do is they take a standard bumper and they basically add this section on to meet the rear quarters and that on. points out how wide this exactly. is comparison exactly. to uh the bumper here the wheels used to be here there so at the beginning <laughs> of the tyre used to be where the wheel would end, it's now here. Wow. So I know people out there would be like, oh, you could have gone wider, but could we? Do could you there? really? There was always a budget. At the end of the day, if you did want to buy this car and do it yourself, it will be for sale. So if you wanted to put yeah. big like 22s on it or whatever, if you wanted to, to get the, uh, the width and yeah. tread pattern, whatever you want, so you could quite easily do that because it is in fact going to be for sale very, very this shortly. Car, do this yourself, just as a guideline, there was about 320 man hours I went into it. Yeah. Over the course of a year and a half. That's not even including parts. No. So that's, that's just man hours. That was Terry at the body shop. That was Ian messing around with suspension and components and coilovers. That was me on the phone for so many hours trying to figure out how we were going to get stuff without breaking the budget. This was a Puma Speed uh, fiberglass spoiler that was sort of added to give the kit a bit more depth. Obviously you want a WRC spoiler on the back of this WRC themed Fiesta. And as you can see, it's got the pockets going through here with loads of like just lairiness. And if you would like this car, JW Autoshine, go and chat to you about just, it. Just DM me on Instagram or Facebook. It will be up on the interwebs and I'll share it about and stuff. But if you do want the chance to own this thing, there isn't any others for sale. I don't think I've ever seen any other one for sale. Regardless if you like the, the fact it's not an ST, you could create an ST very quickly out of this car if you so wish to. Yeah.